Welcome to episode 3 of our Regal Princess Seacation vlog series. In this episode we meet one of the biggest cruise bloggers on the planet, it's Dress to Impress Night, and we also give you a tour of Deck 6. Anywho, so we're off out um, and we're going to meet a very very special person, so come with us. That's very dramatic, isn't it? It's very dramatic. But it is exciting. It is exciting. I would say he's um, Britain's number one cruise blogger. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Yes. Can you guess? No, it's not me. I'm not going to be. <laughs> right, let's go. After spending some relaxing time in the beautiful atrium, it was time to meet the man himself, Mr. Gary Bembridge. For those of you who don't know, Gary Bembridge is the man behind Tips for Travellers website and YouTube channel. We were so excited about meeting Gary that we completely forgot to take any photos. So here's a still from the interview we did with Gary later in the cruise. There will be a link to this interview at the end of this video. Our chat with Gary in the atrium was cut short because we had to head off and get ready for our Dress to Impress night. So it's food again. Look what we've got on the menu today. What restaurant were you then in? What restaurant? Um, I've got the name of it again. Concerto. 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 Yes, it's the main dining room, so all included. So that's the starters on the front. And we're always over the back. And you've got the mains there, but you've also got the princess favourites on the right hand side. So first up is the prawns, look at them. It's a bit of a prawn theme this cruise, we should call it the princess prawn cruise, poorly. Because <laughs> that's all we've had, prawns haven't we? And Paul's got some... Pate. Pate. What sort was it, Paul? Duck. Duck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mains have arrived and we've all opted apart from Jan for lamb. Crusted lamb. With mint sauce, probably Morgan and that. Yes, indeed. Or my eating now. You are. Is it delicious? The desserts did not disappoint either, with Carol going for the caramel pecan turtle cheesecake, and I went for the chocolate journey which was a chocolate hazelnut bar filled with citrus cream. It was delicious. Oh, what do we have here? This is the one like Florentine with a raspberry jam. No, this is Florentine with nuts. This is raspberry jam, chocolate and chocolate. More chocolate. <laughs> More chocolate. Oh, yeah. More sugar. That looks like a fancy jammy dodger. It does. Yeah, I like one of those. All of them are fancy. <laughs> yeah, but a jammy dodger is a biscuit. A okay, yeah. yeah. Ah, it's a biscuit we have in England, yeah. But it just has one circle. That's this got three Princess Jammy Dodger. <laughs> princess Jammy Dodger. <laughs> I'll have one of those. See? Thank you very Only much. One? Yes, that's plenty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely full. Oh, but I'll try one. Um, Florentine, please. Mm. Only one. And I will try one of those chocolate ones as well, just to, <laughs> just to have the idea. Oh, oh, I say. Yeah, After dinner, our next destination would usually be the theatre, which tonight had a comedian. But as my dad had struggled so much last night with the mask wearing, which is still mandatory, we decided to give that a miss and instead headed to the crooner's bar to watch pianist and singer. On a side note, during the day the theatre is also used as a cinema and for enrichment talks. Remember the name of the restaurant? You can do it. Corn. Shirt. Toe. 
Obviously anyway, the main, the main dining room. And we come back to Crooners now, where we've got our seat ready for AJ Clark, who's the pianist here, which we heard a little bit of last night, didn't we? And really liked it. So, so we're back here um, for a bit of a sing along. We are. In between sets from AJ Clark, there was also jazz playing in the atria. After a great night in Crooner's Bar, we decided to head off and explore more of the ship. Our first stop was the Horizon Court Bistro. Because the International Cafe is open 24 hours a day, the Horizon Court Bistro closes at 11 o'clock. This meant that it was extremely quiet, giving us a good chance to look round without disturbing anybody. As you may have seen in our previous vlogs, we do like a nice stroll around the pool deck at night, and this was to be our last stop before we headed off to bed. Morning and all, day three on our Regal Princess cruise, and guess who's still in bed? Ah, surprise, surprise! I'm just going to wake Polly Morgan up, this boat. Quarter past eight, we're going to go and have a breakfast at the concerto dining room. We've loving our meals there, so we're going to have breakfast there today. Um, just pop the kettle on, but look at the weather. <laughs> it's gone true British style. So I've um, just checked the map where we headed down past Cornwall and out towards the Atlantic, but we're heading back in. So um, yeah, a bit different to yesterday. But never mind, plenty going on around the ship, so I'm sure we'll uh, keep ourselves busy. So we're back in the concerto for breakfast, and this is what we've got on offer. Yes, you heard her right, breakfast. Yes, Holy Morgan's up, look. Woo! <laughs> so Paul's ordered the Florentine, haven't you? Egg Florentine. Yeah. Egg Florentine. Florence tea. Florence tea, yeah. Yeah, and I go for this poached eggs with a bit of a ham steak. Good selection, actually, isn't it? Yeah. And I think if you wanted anything, you'd ask them, they'd give it you, wouldn't they? Right. So, this is the ex Florentine Paul. You've not had them before, no. have you? So, what is it? The Swiss cheese on the top? Yeah, it's like um, the spinach. Mm, Gooville. Yeah. Oh. oh, lovely. Going in. See what it's like for you then. Cooked to perfection or. Oh, look at that. Pretty good on that. Uh, beautiful. Right then, so we just had a lovely breakfast, didn't we, in Concerto? I'm Concerto, we did concerto. as well. Concerto. Very, very tasty. So we're going to just take you on a little tour of Deck 6 now. So uh, let's go this way. So, I'm sure you've heard about the Ocean Medallion and the Tech On Board uh, Princess. I'm going to take you to the little shop. Morning. Morning. So you can buy all sorts of accessories for your ocean medallion, as you can see. They're the recycled ones, aren't they? Nineteen dollars. They're made out of uh, water bottles. Or you can go simple ones. There for they're actually cheap. Look for twelve dollars. I've got mine around my neck at the minute, so it's frustrating me to be quite frank. Um, you can do them on a little clip, whereas or you can. Used, whereas it's usually my job to frustrate her. Well, Morning. so I've got both. No, we're all good, thanks. So, but if you look here, you can actually buy a necklace and a nice gold or silver bracelet, but they're fifty-four dollars, which is quite a lot, isn't it, Paul? 
Um, you can also coordinate your lanyard. Look, they've got all different. Uh, oh, how funny. Yeah, so. Um, I don't know, that seems quite a lot of money, doesn't it? I'm going to have to think about that one. Anyway, as you've seen all around the ship, you've got to all these screens which you can play different things. Touch the medallion then and play. Tipsy tentacle slots. Oh, that's the ocean you've seen, and we don't want to be playing that, do we? No. <laughs> but let's tap this one and go to play ocean. My journey. This poor, you're a seahorse. <laughs> ah. So let's go and play some games. So we're going to play, well, anyone, just roar, what is it? Turtle. Play. Rearrange the letters to reveal the secret word. Okay. Oh, something three and three. Or something pie, pot pie. Pot pie. <laughs> Yay, we got them right! <laughs> Couldn't get a... Correct! And next up we've got legendary landmarks again. Six and four. City, Vatican City. I, Vati. Oh, two out of three. Not bad, Paulie Morgan. <laughs> oh, that's fun, isn't it? So also on deck six, you've got the photo gallery, and it comes into the main atrium, which is the real heart of the ship. Um, as you can see, beautiful. Sister and dad are chatting away to some uh, some people there. It's nice, but yeah, the atrium certainly is pretty. So let's move on round. Uh, so we go past the photo gallery. We see this is our who's looking after us. We have got John Foster and his staff. It's nice to put names to faces, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Our faces to names. All doing a fabulous job. We can't complain about the no, service no. store. They've been superb. Um, very, very impressed with the princess service so far. And then we're going to take you through to a place called Club Six. Now, Club Six is um, in here. It has some quizzes. It has music, doesn't it, sometimes on an evening. Um, it's sort of tucked out the way. We didn't find it for a little while, did we, Paul? Yeah. But it's a nice, quiet little lounge if you want to come and just sit and chill and read. And it's right next door to the casino. Now, we'll, I'm sure if you've been watching our vlogs, we don't do a lot of casino. Maybe we should start, Paulie. Let's start gambling. <laughs> no? Obviously you've got a bar that's there. They've got a Sky Sports screen over the bar, Paul, but it said not available at this time, so... Big machines. Wouldn't even know where to start, Paulie. Scan your jobber, isn't it? Scan your jobber and then spend your money. $1,000. No! Are you going to have a go? <gasps> He's gone mad! You're ready to play. Good luck, Paul. Just remember, this was your idea. <laughs> ooh, ah, oh, ooh, win! Oh my God! <laughs> what well, we won though? Oh. It's usually going at one cent a time. Oh, how much was that then? So we had like about five dollars left yeah, in you. So about four dollars. Four dollars. Woo! <laughs> oh, keep going, Annie. 
<laughs> Makes me jump. <laughs> Mm, 91, ugh. We can't afford to have another go, we've only got 31 cents yeah. left. This is called crazy money. Was that crazy? <laughs> ah, I think our gambling days are over. What are you do you sure think? You want to cash out? Are you sure you want to cash out? My big 31 yes, cents. Yes, 31 cents, yes. Does it give you, just credit you back to your... Cash out, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no... Uh... Processing has been transferred to your bank. <laughs> so there you go, kids. If you want to know how to turn ten dollars into thirty-one cents, <laughs> follow us for more tips. So the other end of the um, casino is Princess Theatre, but that's obviously closed at the moment. And we're back at Club Six, as you can see here. So we're back on deck six, back to the atrium. You see, you've got casino there. We've got Bellini's Champagne Bar. Lots of little bars in there, Paul, around. Not sort of big, big bars, but just lots of little ones. And then over here, you have Alfredo's, which we're going to go and ask, actually, because this is all included in dining, and we just need to know if we need to book a table or not. So we'll ask here. Hello there. Um, do we have to book a table for our no food? Lovely. And is it a... Lovely. And what time are you open to? 11 to Lovely. Ah, oh, oh, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, that's good then, isn't it? So it's open... Um, it's open 11am to 11pm, and this is the menu here. So pizzas... Pizzas... Pizzas, but they've got um, pasta pockets filled with veal and parmesan, or a latte de melazine. They've got calzone, poorly, and tiramisu. And then on the back, it's drinks. This is the so you see. Oh, that looks quite nice, Paul, doesn't it? What do you think? I haven't seen them, I need to read them. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's something we're considering doing later because we've ate at the um, main dining room a few times and love it, don't we? Yeah. Happily eat there all the time, but it's nice to, ch to try all the different things. So, yeah, so that's quite a little mini tour of uh, Deck 6. Join us in episode 4 where our Regal Princess adventure continues. And if you'd like to know more about Gary Bembridge, Watch this video now.